into believing that it's the birth of Jesus Christ, when in fact it is not. It is the winter solstice. But this trend this year, even reported by Cosmopolitan, which is, you know, one of these crap tabloids out there, which pushes these trends that a lot of people fall into, is that we're seeing upside down Christmas trees. And apparently it is the thing this year around the United States of America. Now, you might ask, why is that important? Well, if you understand how the occult work, how these Satanists operate, we are all aware already of as above, so below. But remember, they do things in reverse. They do things upside down. If you've seen Stranger Things, obviously you know through that. They talk about the upside down. We know that they use symbols and revert them upside down. We know that they use the upside down cross. We know that they use the upside down pentagram for black magic. Now we're seeing the upside down tree and you can even see in this photo posted on Cosmopolitan which is not a coincidence, you can see the upside down tree hanging above the black and white Masonic checkered floor. The article says upside down Christmas trees are a thing this year because it's been an upside down type of year! Exclamation point. Oh, absolutely. What a load of crap. If you traveled here for the past and saw one of these suckers, you'd be um, okay, puts a curse word in there so I can't say it, but it says something along the lines of it's weird, and you'd be right, it is weird, but I don't know, other than messing with my brain a little and making me question everything, I'm kind of into them. Let's mix it up. Maybe in the future all trees will be upside down, and then the ones we consider right side up will be the weird ones. I can't wait. Right? So this woman who's probably in some type of coven, right, is clearly saying, let's do everything backwards, let's do everything in reverse, and if you've watched my channel for a while, I've talked about how one of the main things that Alistair Crowley would make his students practice is doing things in reverse. It's occultic. It's an occultic practice to speak backwards, to walk backwards, right? They play the music backwards, the law of reversals. So you could hear them in Cosmopolitan saying, maybe in the future all trees will be upside down. And then we consider things that were once normal to be weird. Right, so they're reversing everything. They're inverting everything. This is an occultic practice. And even though the tree, which is pagan, right, Nimrod's tree and all that stuff, even though we already know what that stands for, and I'm not saying if you're somebody who has a tree, you know, I'm not getting into that about judging if you have a tree with lights on it, but you don't worship Nimrod or you're not worshiping your bad or this. Or, listen, you live your life, you know, according to scripture, and if you believe that that's okay, then. That's between you and God, not between you and me. But the symbol in its own right of the tree is obviously goes back and has paid pagan origins. Now, by taking it and flipping it and inverting it upside down, you can even see that the tree looks like an inverted pyramid, right? It looks like an upside down pyramid, even with some of these photos having the star upside down. So you can even see it now being a baphomet like star. So... This is not some coincidence that all of a sudden it's trending. It's not a coincidence that these photos that Cosmopolitan are showing you all have the Masonic checkerboard floor right below them. Okay, because all of these elites and cultists know exactly what this means. That they're going to take and invert everything that was once normal in society is going to be weird. And all these perversions and all this sickness and everything that we see going on is going to become normal that's what this represents we're seeing this going on around our society that everything is being inverted right we're seeing christianity which once was considered the normal respectful way to live following god's law is a good thing now we're seeing a society where everybody has turned on god everyone thinks god is selfish and god is hateful and that the you know every, all christians suffer bigots and being you know this or that be, you know identifying yourself as a christmas wreath or identifying yourself as a piece of paper, or identifying yourself as a transgender human dragon, all these things are now normal in society, where people such as ourselves are considered not normal. You know how many times I've told people that I don't have Facebook, that I don't have Twitter, that I don't have any social medias, that I don't have a phone that can access the internet? They look at me like, my, like, like I have seven heads, and that, you know, I just crapped in a diaper. 
Like they just, they can't get over it. They can't believe it. But if I told you 10 years ago, 15 years ago, that everybody would be, you know, doing all this stuff, you'd say, it's crazy. People aren't going to be living off of Facebook, taking photos of their dinners and posting it and acting like this. But they have already inverted our society. And now they're even selling these upside down Christmas trees, selling them. So these aren't just things that are going on inside of, you know, some elegant ballroom. Target is selling these for $1,000, upside down Christmas trees, and people are buying it. Because everything that was normal is now upside down. Everything has been inverted. This is how the occult operates. This is the law of reversals. And you're seeing it going on with everything. Something as little as a Christmas tree to something as extreme as having four-year-olds tell their parents that even though they were born with you know male private parts, that they're now girls. And the parents accepting that. This is the future of our society. Upside down everything. And all of these things that we once thought were normal, like believing in the Bible, believing in God, are all going to be outcasted and looked at as weird. And it's already happening right now. So that's what this represents. That's why you're seeing this trend. And you're seeing cosmopolitan and people try to talk about it as if it's cool. right? They're just going, oh, it's just kooky. It's somebody being artistic. Let's all do it for fun. They, you know, see pictures of people with literally with upside down Christmas trees inside of their homes. They don't have a clue, most of them, what they're partaking in. But Cosmopolitan knows exactly what's going on. That's why they're showing you pictures of black and white Christmas trees upside down, Christmas trees hanging over black and white tile. They know exactly what's going on, right? Because they even tell you in this article in the very beginning, let's mix it up. Maybe in the future all trees will be upside down, and the ones we consider right side up will be the weird ones. Right there is the telling sentence. Because everything, everything that we knew and know as normal is no longer going to be. This is the end times. I'm not saying the world's ending tomorrow. I'm not saying next month. None of us know the day or the hour. But we're in that time period. Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Think about that verse, how good is going to become bad, and all things that are bad are going to become good. And I know we're just talking about a Christmas tree, and it's almost like a metaphor in a sense for what's going on, but that's the truth of the matter, because everything that is wicked in this world is becoming good, right? The, not just the gender stuff that's going on, everything, the pedo stuff that we see, you know, all the stuff with these children being exploited, you know, parents, you know, kids are... There's like three and four year olds that are in beauty pageants. It's all sick stuff, but it's normalized in our society because all these things that you would think are wicked are now good. And things like this, you're going to see more and more things upside down. But like I said earlier, stranger things, the upside down world, right? So for those of you who have seen it, which is really the, you know, what's beyond the veil, everything flip beyond the veil, bringing over what's on the other side here, which is. You know what's in that show. They also obviously have MK Ultra involved in that show as well. But showing you that the upside down world does exist because it's going to become this reality is going to become the upside down world, and it already is. And things like this tree, they might just be metaphors now for what is going on. But if you really analyze everything, if you really look at all the stuff that's going on, you'll realize that wow, everything is flipped on its head. Everything already is inverted. And this all goes back to Aleister Crowley. This all goes back to the law of reversals. This all goes back to what they believe in. They invert the pentagram. So they take it from what the witches use it as a regular pentagram and magic spells and all that. They invert it into black magic. They take the cross. And I know people will say, well, the upside down cross is supposed to represent meteor. The Satanists take it and they invert it. They invert all symbols. They invert all signs. They invert all things. And they take what is normal and what is good and they turn it bad and they take what is bad and turn it good and the masses out there who don't have a clue who are living literally in oblivion literally living in oblivion they have no idea who they are what they are they're just blowing around like farts in the wind they don't have a clue that they're being manipulated and played day in and day out second by second hour by hour they're going along with this stuff and that's why suddenly Christians and it's not suddenly it's been going on for a while but I mean now more than ever, Christians are more hated than any other religion. 
and people won't openly admit that, but you don't hear people talking about Muhammad, you don't hear people talking about Buddha, you don't hear people talking about Shiva and Kali or any of these other deities or gods or false prophets or whoever. You only hear them targeting us. You only hear them targeting Jesus Christ and Christians. Because everything is flipped on its head. So upside down Christmas trees are just the beginning of seeing more and more things normalized and inverted. And remember, it all goes back to Crawley and the law of reversals. I thank you for listening to today's show. God bless all of you and your families.